let me share my screen then. How things going over there? Weather and everything? Cool. Uh, it's a bit cold, I say, but uh, but it's Where? mostly <laughs> it's since it's a little bit sunny though. It's a uh, really cozy weather, a lazy weather, I would say. <laughs> yeah, so you you could see my presentation mode, right? Yes. Awesome, awesome. That sounds good. So, you, where you are based at? Washington? No, uh, I'm based in India. Okay, okay. Yeah, because in I talking to one of my friend today. He's in Washington, and he was saying, "Man, it is freaking cold." And I said, "Suit like cold." Cold is what Canadian know more than anyone, so I totally agree. That sounds good, Suraj, and I'm all yours whenever you would say, and uh, we will jump over there. Okay, I think it's almost time. Let me give an intro. So welcome again to the session on Azure Lake House Architecture, and uh, we have Deepak with us, who is five times Azure MVP and uh, instructor and a trainer. So let's uh, hear from him more about uh, your lake house architecture, how you can use it, and uh, yeah, what what is it, and uh, how you can use it. Over to you. Thank you so much, Suraj. I really appreciate that. Uh, by any chance, we are recording this video. Uh, yes, it's already recording. Oh, that's great. That thank you so much. I don't know. All Ham Hamidi want to. <laughs> Requesting control, that's not a good idea. Uh, maybe mistaken, uh, but hey everyone, thank you so much for joining today. Um, today we are going to talk about Azure Lake House architecture. Uh, you might have come across a couple of times, data architecture or delta lake architecture. Those are a couple of questions nowadays, if you are going, um, to enterprise level discussion or customer discussion, or sometimes you have to propose some architecture that come across your way now and then. So basically, uh, that is one of the thing I want to understand from a success stories, how you could implement the lake house architecture adhering to the best protocols. If that excites you, then this architects high level will also excite you where we are talking about Oracle database, ingestion of Oracle database. What is this uh, Delta Lake architecture? What we are doing over here? Store transformation visualization and similarly streaming data. Nowadays everything is streaming like wind turbines are streaming, plane is streaming data more than anything, smart city, uh, smart municipalities, everything is streaming the data and we need to ingest that data. If that make you excited, uh, you are at the right spot and uh, welcome again. Um, today you will understand current technology from Lake House architecture, the, uh, uh, their landscape. What are a couple of data migration option? What option you need? Um, uh, you need to do and uh, I will share the slide as well. Thank you so much for that question. Uh, and uh, we will look over cloud based data migration implementation and key takeaways. So, so many things is going to do. So thank you everyone for joining me today. My name is Deepa Kosik, a Microsoft Azure MVP. You might have come across my articles. Uh, videos or uh, book review. So I have been into different, different, uh, you know, uh, come across, you might come across on different channel. Like uh, I have been contributing in the technical community since 2008. Uh, at that time, I started writing articles uh, and eventually I, I, you know, I presented almost in every continent in the world. Uh, this is one of my favorite. I flew to Seattle over there and presented at DevOps Lab. If you are a cloud guy or champion in cloud or who has pretend to be a cloud guy, so basically go across that. That is wonderful. Um, this. If that make you excited, give me thumbs up and I want to make it interactive as well. And let's go from there and get ready for um, get ready for you know all this fun. 
OK. <clears throat> so basically, let's talk about, you know, what is architecture design, right? How the data architecture design? If you look over, there are a couple of type of data, structured, structured data, unstructured data, or same structured data. Earlier we were talking about relational, non-relational, but nowadays say if you have semi-structure like JSON, XML, or structured data, you ingest that data with Azure Data Factory. And then you process that data by raw store and uh, anal analysis that data and transform, and that is available by Power BI. So this is what we do in traditional way of moving that data. Like we have some raw store, we transform, we finalize store, and from that finalization stage, with that data is available for visualization. Before I move into intense on this, uh, Suraj, uh, from the audience perspective, you uh, would you please help me to understand their expertise level, uh, where like they are using or they're supposed to use? So I don't want to go to that intense level, right? Um, if it would be the personal, I would be asking everyone. But uh, how much average year of experience this audience, this group has? Any number? Maybe we can ask them how how much they know about it so that uh, we can know more about e. I, th I would yeah. say they are a uh, beginner level of understanding of uh, the cloud and azure so i would oh. say let's go from the bottom to not in a really advanced way okay okay so i will not touch base you know on that i don't give uh penetrate too much into the depth I will then penetrate more about focus about concept so they could implement, correct? Yes. OK, that sounds good, my friends. I got the audience, so I'm considering you two to three years of experience or who are working uh, uh, going into the cloud world or starting your cloud journey. So my example would be there. So these are the streaming data and uh, these are the batch streaming data. Uh, batch data. Streaming data means data which is streaming, like every time data is available. And batch data is which come into ETL process, which come after certain time, everyday data, or maybe like birthday application run every day, right? So that is the batch data. Streaming data which came uh, regularly. So this bronze table is the first where data come into the first into the bronze table and which is kind of raw zone and uh, then refined table would be the silver and gold will be the purest form like you could say 24 carat of gold so delta lake so question is what is delta lake delta lake is open source project that enable building of lake house architecture with compute engines like Spark or Synapse. So basically, Delta Lake is open source project logically, which sits over the data lake. So Delta Lake always sit over the data lake, whether it is the Google Cloud or Azure Cloud or Amazon. So basically now we understand, okay, under the hood, it is always data lake. And but above it is the Delta Lake. We need to understand that and Delta Lake has three forms, bronze, silver, gold. So these three forms, why these are three forms? So we need to understand Delta Lake is an open source project that allowed data warehouse like functionality directly from Data Lake. So basically uh, you will get all the flavor of Azure Data Warehouse. Earlier when I started my career 70 years before, it is kind of really fun over there, but uh, it is how, you know, uh, we are dealing with uh, Data Warehouse at that point of time, all big, big machine putting the hardware, software, but now we get rid of that. Now it is the service, and that's what I want to understand. So let's look over this layered data approach. On-prem, I when I started my career, um, at that point of time, we have landing zone, 
we have source database and master database, which we were using the terminology. But now it is the bronze data lake, silver data lake and gold data lake. And basically bronze is the landing zone. Silver is the transform zone and gold is the master zone. And here in bronze, you get the direct copy from any source that is raw. Silver is the sum massage. You implemented some logic in to the bronze and save that into the silver and gold is the pure purest form we know the gold right that is the purest form of the data and this is where we are dealing with and you will see today in our demo how gold silver bronze look like i think that make you excited enough so basically we in the lake house spot all kind of format structured semi structured unstructured binary all the videos image sound we look over so many devices you know who is taking the pictures they are storing those files directly so you could leverage lake house architecture without second thinking your data is structured unstructured how it would work so that is lake house let's consider here and I want each and every one of you focus on this screen. We have source data on left side. And that net data need to be moved into the branch because branches are raw and here data is appended. How we could move the data? By Azure Data Factory copy data activity. So I copy any format of data. IoT Hub is the streaming aeroplane data you could say or wind turbine or csv file or abro or sql or whatever type of data it is you copy that data into branch once you have data available into the branch it will progress into the silver version and it will clean and single version by notebook and further it will move into the curated form where which is kind of purest form of my data in bronze, if I have 100 terabyte of data, in gold, maybe I will get 10 GB of data. Just sharing the contest, it is the purest form of data available. And that data is useful for visual analytics. So you are be, once you pr produce any solution, that solution will be able to bring some analytical process and that is available by this power bi report and that is the data transformation and gold bronze silver and gold all together called as delta lake i hope this is clear to everyone and once we have that data available here you could do all those activity bronze or silver and move that data and for example this is the real time scenario our New York taxi. Uh, we have New York taxi blob container and data lake, and there are three folders bronze, silver, and gold. You could see in bronze, silver, and gold um, various uh, table available, like with the date that is it, it is called hierarchical namespace. Every year data, after that, every month data, and day data. So basically, you could pick any. Uh, folder or any detail like sales of New York taxi and you could see 22nd of July 2022 at 10 15 a.m. this file came 11 25 22 this file came and so on so basically it give you hierarchical namespace and you could see the file over there so uh, and once this file you could directly consume or directly save as delta table I think that is enough. I set the contest over here. And now let me share you the same example. Uh, same example doing some demo. So basically this tool is called Azure Storage Explorer. Azure Storage Explorer has uh, in this, uh, uh, you know, you could give you a subscription. Uh, thank you for Microsoft giving me Azure MVP subscription where I could connect here. And uh, I could see bronze, gold, and silver, which you just uh, so that is New York taxi, uh, you know, over here. So in bronze, you could have different tables like delta tables, and we look over dim and fact. I'm not going into that detail over 
uh, again uh, and silver and vice versa gold. And you could see all those things and associated features and you know, you look for all those tables and OK, fact table is there and the fact table you could go to the trip table uh, folder and other that there there is so many parquet file. Parquet file, you know, the comp are the compressed file, which is very, very, very important. And here uh, you look for those file and process. Now let me pull my. Code here and share you some detail. So this is uh, New York Texas Synapse workspace. When I open this workspace, you could see it is serverless dedicated uh, supported by Apache Spark pool, which we shared. And here, um, when you look over this, yeah, remember uh, we look over the data. It is the SQL data or lake database. And the lake database, gold data lake. That is interesting, right? We could see all the tables, all the lake, uh, and three database here. So these three database, uh, bronze data lake or silver, are into different uh, forms and which represent to the delta lake. And here you could see uh, the notebook. In notebook, you write your code, and after that you say, hey, set up my bronze data lake, and it will set up your bronze data lake. And further you will say, Hey, set up my silver data lake and how this is how it progress from one space to another space. You could see your table once that is created and you could visualize those table as well and you can go from there and look around different features. So basically this is how we created all this table and all those detail and you could execute that query you could see i executed that query as well we have okay in queen's city this taxi x as uh, you know progress from this geography location and these are the zip code and this is you know different things we can also look over the various charts which give me the visualization uh, features as well and that is such a cool thing. We could export this result into CSV, JSON, or XML. Basically, this tool from Synapse itself you could do. And uh, once you make your change, you could publish your uh, changes as well. So it just published my all the changes. So basically, this is how you work with Azure Synapse, and you understand Azure Synapse. Uh, once you work with Azure Synapse and have different data, that data you will leverage data lake and with the three tables of a bronze, silver, and gold delta lake. That uh, let's go further and let me change the gear now. It was with Synapse. Now I want you to understand the current technology landscape. You guys have such a great future. You, uh, you attended this session. It reflect me, uh, folks. I was uh, around the globe. Like I give the so many career counseling. I gave okay how you can move to the developed countries. I share how you be successful. So if you are in this session, you are doing one of the incredible thing which you could do as a you know, as someone who is aspirant to make their future. So take these. This is going to help you more than anything to progress in your career. So secondly, what is the current technology landscape? Let me share one real time scenario. And this scenario is OK. There is one guy. Let's say his name is uh, let me uh, pick from um, name Mark and Mark is a technician. He need to go for site inspection every 500, 600 kilometers. He need to get the data, real time data, and then he need to progress that data into the lab. And then, then for, for, he has to come back into the lab and whenever problem identified, he have to go again. So basically this step include too much work like every like, uh, the geography of uh, North America is not really very cool. As I was discussing with Suraj, like we experienced minus 60 degree as well. So just consider the risk we carry. So basically it is the streaming data. Now you know what is the streaming data. And in this case, it take one month to get the report. What solution we have proposed? This is the IoT hub where data 
just dump into the Azure Data Lake. And all once data is trans uh, into Data Lake, we use Delta Lake, and you could see Delta Lake is above Data Lake, right? And it has bronze, silver, and gold. And at real time notification we get. So basically, if one wind turbine get any error state, it took more than a couple of weeks to fix, and it cost more than $1 million to get, you know, a compensate all those things. So basically, whenever we get nearly real time um, uh, notification, how much we could save now you consider just you just for visualization you replace this wind turbine by aeroplane if aeroplane has any problem and uh, we don't identify how difficult it is right how expensive it is to the all the community and all the passenger to the airline so basically we need to be preventive analysis that's what we did and this solution we got the real time data like aeroplane is more heat aeroplane has more heat or more sounds so those kind of scenario we take care of that so we use if you look over one of the this thing we use auto loader uh why because auto loader is one of the feature i want you folks to take on uh, write down this name auto loader google about it this replace couple of features over here like notification services message queue batch spark delay external uh, trigger excuse me so only one feature can do if you know the auto loader and if you implemented that in your project technically you able to achieve that result in couple of hours which another your team member or another folk who is working without auto loader maybe take seven days so basically it will give you that as and uh I think that will be quite helpful for you. So streaming load, batch load is there, and you progress your data again, bronze, silver, and gold. And I know you will going to, you know, remember those uh, by end of this presentation. Let me take a pause here, and I'm all set for taking your question before moving ahead. Suraj, is it good? What do you think? Yes, it's good. Yeah, and uh, Suraj, uh, I will be happy to, you know, address, uh, take their question in, in way of like technology or anything or everything, ask me anything sort of thing. So, uh, yeah. So folks, you could uh, maybe write your question and uh, Suraj will, you know, bring me up and then I will address that. Otherwise, we could go ahead and, you know, <clears throat> uh, I will complete give you another real time scenario and we will go from there. So I'm taking silence as gold and we are moving ahead. So this is another um, uh, energy example where they need to move the very heavy lifting 10 terabyte of uh, Oracle data and historical data as well. That is the problem statement. And uh, what I did, I proposed three solutions. One is with Delta Lake architecture, auto loader and data bricks. Uh, another is the Azure SQL hyperscale. And last but not least is the Synapse architecture. We, on the first example, we look for the Synapse. On second example, Synapse and Delta Lake. Second example, we look for Delta Lake. And now I will cover that. And Azure hyperscale, um, is something I implemented, which is up to 100 terabyte. So uh, cl um, client decided to go with the Delta Lake architecture. Let me share you the quick demo and rationale for that. For Delta Lake, um, this is called, um, let me open uh, my Azure portal. And all the solution which I have implemented and which you will implement, I highly recommend will be adhering to Azure Well Architect framework that is cost, security, reliability, operational excellence, and performance. And that is something you need to do. So first, uh, Deepak Lab, I have implemented for myself. I give the, uh, you know, I build the autoloader configuration. I said, hey, what file we need to uh, 
uh, what file we need to implement it. And uh, we, I said, OK, implement this file. What is the format JSON? But if tomorrow Surya say, hey, Deepak, my customer has CSV file, I will change it to the CSV. So all the ingestion will happen. And tomorrow, Kanika or um, Loyola, uh, if they come up and they say, hey, we need JSON, so we can change JSON or uh, any format. So this is my daily log bronze file, which is here. And I save as you could see as bronze path and you could see the table is right here. And then I'm also writing the SQL queries here. And then we have, once we have that data, we could save that data and progress that data. And uh, eventually that data we could select by query as well, a query syntax like. So you could see this is the Python. You could change it to the Scala or SQL, and you might find here you go the SQL query drop table. So basically create table, and this is also SQL query. This is how you know our uh, real world things work. And this is the gold uh, gold table. You could see I save them process them and save as gold table. So basically you could figure out this is real time of data we are getting and we are using various kind of the transformation. So if I had to go again here uh, and showcase you another example. So this is Databricks, which you know and uh, kind of very good uh, example or you know you could look for from that perspective. So you could find all those detail, whatever I'm sharing at uh, uh, my blog as well, which is deeperkosik.com. You could go and uh, download the code and look over different perspective. You could follow me at Twitter as well, uh, which is uh, Think for Deepak. And this is LinkedIn where me and Suraj were talking about a couple of minutes before. Uh, this is uh, another MEP who want to join the call as well. So basically this is pretty much um, about Databricks side. Let me go further. And uh, <clears throat> so I told you five pillar pillar to become successful. The five pillar would be Azure Well Architect Framework. You got to adhere your solution about cost optimization, operational excellence, performance, efficiency, reliability, all those kind of things that adhering to the Azure Well Architect framework. And um, with that note, um, you know, there is data governance part. You could add like what, how you govern your data and all that thing. And uh, that is uh, pretty much today for this talk. And I hope now you guys understand what is Data Lake? What is Delta Lake? OK, Deepak told us Delta Lake is more about bronze, silver, gold, and it sits on the data lake. And we could use structured data, unstructured, same structure. You could take the uh, picture of this if you want to connect, and I'm all set to take your questions. Over to you, Grace. Sure is. Thank you. Thank you, Deepak, for the wonderful session. I'm sure there is a few people who might be having questions. Let's give them a Five minutes to type it up since there is uh, no mic access, they need to type it up. So, so let's give them five minutes so that uh, they can ask the questions. Yeah, and uh, Suraj, uh, some folks also uh, like I got you know a couple of time on uh, different questions. Some folks asked me um, for the session on career building, how they could be. Microsoft MVP or how they could move to uh, develop country like um, Germany or US or Canada or Australia, something like that. If you could also take a vote, if that is something that make difference in their life and that, that make them interested, we could also plan that session as well. And uh, I think uh, a couple of times I give the presentation, I remember last time I gave in Microsoft Bangladesh as well. A couple of folks come um, got the opportunity, something like that. So maybe you and me talk offline as well, but I just want to bring here as well. Sure, I think it's an interesting topic. 
uh, our community will be as well join, uh, interesting to be joining. So, so maybe we can plan a plan about it in the LinkedIn after the sessions or whenever you get time. Okay. Thank you so much, my friend. And uh, yeah, um, I think that is pretty much. And uh, please don't forget to. Uh, you know, tag me and you guys who attended. I will really appreciate if you uh, once Suraj will post you, you know, tag me as well and give you, you know, your feedback as well. So that will help Suraj uh, efforts. Uh, and uh, I also know, OK, these folks are connected to me and if there is anything come now, I know Suraj by name, so I want to know you folks. And if there is any help I could do, I could happy to do that. Thank you so much, folks. Thank you. So I think there is no other question related to the session. Uh, yes. In that case, we can wind up the session. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, okay. folks, and uh, thank you so much thank for you. joining. Have a good one. Take care. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Thank you, Deepak. See you another time.